to Rumble in Sheffield 2.0, match free on tonight's show. A newcomer, Matt, to Phoenix event, Ricky J. McKenzie. Pride of Blackpool, Ricky J. McKenzie. And I have to say, Andy Kane, seldom have I seen Caleb Crow square off of a man who is so much the, his physical opposite. Well, exactly. You know, let's not take anything away from the guy in the hoop. We've seen what he's capable of. We've seen how phenomenal he is. We've seen how extraordinary he is and why he deserves that nickname. That's not a pushover, that's Caleb Crow. There's no such thing as a pushover when it comes to Caleb Crow and UK. But I'm hoping that this is going to be a showcase of both these men's skills. I do love to see uh, Caleb Crow take cake on, a guy who compliments and uh, contrasts his own in-ring style. Let me tell you what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping Caleb Crow can make it out of there in one piece. That's what I'm hoping for. Although he's a newcomer to Phoenix events, Ricky J. McKenzie is put together. He seems a little flummoxed though by uh, Kayla Crow's initial uh, flurry. Like he's not used to this, uh, the, the intensity of his, uh, of his ring technique, any case. You know, Ricky J. McKenzie trained by Marty Jones. Marty Jones was protege. And uh, honestly, God, an unfortunate trip there by Ricky J. McKenzie. That's really going to play a little bit of psychological damage to him. That can't have done much for his confidence, Andy Kane. You know, Caleb Crow on the inside of the ring quite wisely waiting for Ricky J to get back in there. But let me tell you this, fans, and you made an excellent point at the start of the match, Matt. If you look at the size of RJM, if you look at the size of Ricky J McKenzie, and you look at Caleb Crow, that's a... Uh, polar opposites, I have to say. It's a bit of a trade-off in terms of size, but then again, you've got to remember, Caleb's speed is phenomenal, Andy Kane. I'm not saying that Ricky J. McKenzie can't get up to a good fair whack when he gets going, but look instantly, Caleb Crow outpacing him. Beautiful headlock by Caleb Crow, the extraordinary one, and Ricky J. McKenzie picking him up off his feet. Will it be dropping him back? Dropping him to the ring apron. But Caleb cinched on that headlock, Matt. Cinched it on. Clever, though, by McKenzie. Uh, showing a lot of ring smarts. He actually deposited, deposited Caleb Crow outside of the ring, so he knew that the referee would have to make the call to break the hold. Looks like Caleb could be in trouble now, being crushed into the ropes by Ricky J. McKenzie, who's working on that midsection of Caleb Crow. Interesting tactics from RJM right there. You see very sound tactics. You can see his training coming straight through there. You know, classic ring wingsmanship, European uppercuts, driving shoulders, beautiful Irish whip into the corner. This guy, of course, RJM, is Marty Jones' protege, which means that he's been trained in the old style of wrestling. And say what you like about old style of wrestling fans, many of you may remember it comically with Big Daddy and Giant Haystacks, but a lot of those guys, especially Marty Jones, knew how to wrestle. The fundamentals are rock solid in those people, Andy Kane. They're passing their wisdom and their experience onto a new generation of guys like Ricky J. McKenzie. You know, I remember watching Marty Jones as a child fan, and honestly, Honestly, he was one of the greatest on the UK scene. But talking of the present, one of the greatest people that I've seen come into Phoenix events, make a debut and dominate is Ricky J. McKenzie. Indeed. We're seeing an interesting fusion of styles here. Caleb Crow is unconventional. He's high-flying and he's fast. But like you say, Ricky J. McKenzie is basically grounded in those sound ground-and-pound styles of wrestling. 
He quite rightly mentioned earlier that Ricky J. McKenzie was looking flustered by Caleb Crow. We've seen a lot of wrestlers flustered by Caleb Crow style, but once Ricky J. McKenzie gets that speed right and slows it down, Caleb could be in a world of hurt. Indeed. But, mainly, but then again, he's only seen a small portion of Caleb Crow's offensive maneuvers in that ring. You know, I'm guessing that Caleb Crow is going to have a couple more surprises up his sleeve before this match is ended. Andy. Beautiful suplex by RJM, bringing Caleb Crow up to his feet and tossing him to the outside of the ring. But Caleb's holding on and he's to his feet on the outside, too. Great credit to Caleb. He wraps his leg around the ring, as, and he wraps his leg around the rope there as he was ejected from the ring, Andy Kane. He may have done more damage than we saw. You know, Ricky Jay is obviously not a fan of the fans. You know, he called them scumbags when he came out here tonight. He'd be wise to forget about the fans right now, to pull them as far out of his mind as possible, and to concentrate on the man in the hoops who's crawling back into the ring, the extraordinary one, Caleb Crow. I don't feel that so Mackenzie maybe has something to prove here, a chip on his shoulder. He does seem to be very easily flustered, very easily distracted by the fans and Caleb himself. Caleb to the top rope and Ricky J. Ricky J. McKenzie fans, excuse me, bringing him right off the top rope there and dominating him again. Absolutely dominating. Picks him up now, could be going for anything, but whatever it is, it's bound to be effective. To be honest with you, Andy Kane, I don't know how Caleb Crow's head is still on his shoulders after that European uppercut. Ricky J. McKenzie up for the torture rack oh. on Caleb Crow. Caleb may have to give it up at this. Caleb giving up such a weight difference, a weight differential to Ricky J that he may have no choice at all, man. I have to say, Andy Kane, I cannot see how Caleb Crow can get out of this move. And what I want you to look at there, fans at home, is the pressure being put on Caleb Crow's back. Oh. And imagine the pain soaring through that. And just to even it out, Matt, just to even it out, knee to the midsection. And another knee to the midsection. We're seeing uh, Ricky J McKenzie start to dominate Caleb Crow here. This is not the kind of match that Caleb Crow needs to wrestle. This is not his style. He needs to be he needs he needs to be getting fast paced moves in, aerial moves. He doesn't need to be taken down to the mat like this. I'll take this Matt, I know you talk about your favourite wrestlers here in Phoenix event. Especially, I know you mentioned Sam Goodison, one of my absolute favourite wrestlers, is Caleb Crow, And we see him now trying to make a comeback, but I fear for Caleb Crow in this match. As brave as he is, as determined as he is, and as committed as he is, that's Ricky J. McKenzie in there, Matt. He's taking him down to the ground, he's keeping him grounded, Andy Kane. I've never seen Caleb Crow taken down to the mat like this before. This is going to be a test of him, the likes of which I have never witnessed. You're quite right, but if Caleb is one thing, it's resilient. Indeed he is. You know, we all have seen Caleb come in against the odds, and we've all seen him be hugely successful, Indeed. not only here in Phoenix, but in elite British wrestling as well. Indeed. Referee Lee Thomas doing a great job now, just making sure that Ricky J. McKenzie he keeps that move nice and legal. <laughs> there we and go. Caleb with back, though now, Caleb Crow. Uh, I couldn't quite see if that was punches or forearms, but your referee's right there to call it if needed. Indeed. Ricky J moving in, putting the pressure onto Caleb's shoulders and onto the neck area. And Caleb fighting back. Will we see that speed come into use? Oh, Beautiful drop kick. With a drop kick. Back to his feet. And Ricky J again for ropes, and Caleb moving in with a high knee. Seeing a little bit more control being asserted by Caleb Crow with a bulldog there, Andy K. You know, that's an interesting move for Caleb. This is very Caleb are using a move like the Bulldog, especially when the strength of Ricky J. McKenzie may be so much in comparison to Caleb. That was an interesting manoeuvre and showed just how stunned RJM is. It's all about momentum and knowing when to use a move of that kind, Andy Kane, using the, the larger man's size against him. But then again, look, caught straight away. Beautiful move by RJM. Kick out on and two. fans, I saw Matt Hatter reaching for the ring bell. I'll be honest with you, I thought the same. We were convinced that was it. I was, I was very, very close, Andy K. If that wasn't the free count, then I do not know how Caleb Crow kicked out of that. Sheer resilience at this point, Andy K. And he's taken so much punishment. You know? Caleb's got to be running on empty right now, hasn't he, Matt? Running on vapours, I would say, Andy K. Running on fumes. Into the corner there with RJM, taking Caleb to the top rope. Interesting manoeuvre. We all know how well Caleb does when he goes near that top rope. This is a gamble on Ricky J. McKenzie's part. He may seem to be in control, but taking Caleb Crow anywhere off his feet, up onto those ring ropes, up onto those pads, is a gamble. Ricky up to the middle rope now. Caleb on his shoulders. 
but what will he be going for here fans whatever it is it's bound to be something to watch so make sure that you don't blink you want to see all of this action here at Rumble in Sheffield 2.0 Caleb is changing position here seems to have asserted control Andy Kane ahead to this from Caleb Crow and Caleb Crow is back in it fans going to the top rope RJM stunned Caleb on top Beautiful neck breaker. Oh my god, Andy Kane, did you hear the snap on that move? Beautiful neck breaker from Caleb Crow. Caleb Crow in for the pinfall. Will it be the miracle we expect, fans? It is! <laughs> Caleb Crow from Hog City. Mark, and he certainly didn't give up hope. He Never. certainly didn't go fighting, and he came out successful against Ricky J. McKenzie. Indeed. Well, well earned victory. Hard fought, though, Ka uh, Andy Kane. Hard fought. How much does that take out of Caleb Crow? It's yet to be seen, fans. But one thing.